Hi, I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a super easy way to make a delicious, delicious sorbet. So let's get to it. All right, so for the uninitiated, if you've never had sorbet, let me tell you what, you're missing out. It's really, really basic stuff, but it's so rich, lots of fruit flavor. You can make them with pretty much any kind of you know, ingredient that you imagine up, you know, uh, they, they really lend themselves to fruits like cherry, pineapple, you name it. You, I've made banana sorbet that's just out of this world and it's really, really easy to do. It's really super basic. As a matter of fact, there's only four ingredients. So I mean, we're talking sugar, water, lemon juice, and your fruit of choice, which for us is pineapple. I'm gonna show you what we got going on and you're not gonna believe how easy it is and this stuff is absolutely delicious. So what we have is really basic, basically two cups of pineapple, we prefer the tidbits. We've got one cup of white granulated sugar, one cup of water, these two things are gonna make that simple syrup and then one teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay, to make our simple syrup is really, really, guess what, simple. All you do is basically put four well, for our purposes today, it's equal parts of sugar and water. In goes the water, in goes the sugar, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna heat this up until it actually uh, just melts the sugar. You're gonna keep that moving, and stir it up, heat it gently, and all you're trying to do is make sure that that sugar is completely dissolved. We're not looking to boil it or anything crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up, get it to where it needs to be, and I will be right back. Okay, over a medium heat, this stuff has now dissolved our sugar completely. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this simple syrup, set it over here to cool, and we are gonna get on to our next step. All right, so our simple syrup is now cooling and we're gonna basically put our pineapple into our blender. Get in there, all y'all. Nobody is gonna escape. And we're gonna put in one teaspoon of our lemon juice. All right, one teaspoon of lemon juice on the way. In you go. And then our simple syrup. In goes the simple syrup. Carefully, not to spill. Ah, I almost dropped it, but we're good. Now we are gonna blend this up. And here we go. Yeah. Now you don't need to obliterate it, but we're basically just wanting to make sure that there's no big nasty pieces. Everything is incorporated and frothy, frothy, delightful yumminess will soon occur. Okay, so check this out. Now here's one of the little tricks. You, if you, you can still make the sorbet if you don't have one of these doohickeys, but this basically is one of those, um, it's, it's like a, it's got gel or some kind of freezing agent inside of this. This, this is like, it's a thick, uh, well, double kind of walled uh, ice cream thing. You, you put your ice cream in there to make it, but what's nice is that this thing freezes up real good. You can put it in your freezer and it helps the, uh, the sorbet or whatever you're making in this, you know, ice cream or whatever, but today's sorbet. So if you have one of these, it makes it easier, uh, but you don't have to have one. So basically in goes our sorbet mix. I'm gonna show you that in a second. And look at that. Ooh, yummy. That's gonna be delightful. One of the tricks to making the sorbet so nice and smooth and that, that really, you know, it's not creamy because there's no milk, but it's just got this silky texture that's just really, really great. But one of the ways that you accomplish that is in the freezing process. Now, what you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and let it begin to freeze. Let it start to come in on itself and start freezing up. Then you mix it up. You get it all jumbled up get all that stuff off the sides and then you let it start to freeze again. You put it back in your, your deep freezer or, or whatever it is you're freezing. Actually today it's, it's in the negative so I, I decided to stick it in a snow pile outside. But all you do is basically let it start to freeze up, mix it, mix it, mix it. Then let it start to freeze a little bit more. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Once again and you'll start to see that really, really lush texture is gonna start happening and that is one of the trademarks of an awesome, delightful sorbet. Okay, so all the stirring and all the freezing has happened, well, 
And that's not entirely true. I'm very impatient when it comes to these kind of things and I've only let it go about three hours, but check that out. That's basically about an hour and a half, then I stirred it up, went another half hour, stirred it up, and so we we will wait no more. I can't do it, look at that. See there? Mm. Really, really nice and smooth texture. Unbelievable pineapple taste. You can do this. This is really easy. Mm. Think all the flavors you can funk. Oh my goodness. Pineapple sorbet. So you can make a sorbet out of kind of any flavor you really want. I guess traditionally they've been more the fruit kind of thing. It lends itself to that. But uh, in reality, I've seen chocolate sorbet. I've seen all kinds of different things and they're really, really tasty. I mean, we're just really talking about a simple syrup and then you're flavoring. And then it's all in that freezing process. So let your imagination run, figure something out. Man, I, uh, the possibilities are endless. So there you have it, really, really easy, basic ingredients, and oh my gosh, the flavor is just off the charts. That texture is really, really awesome. Um, there it is, I mean, it's, it's that simple and you should try it today. Anyway, well, please, don't forget to send this to your friends and like and subscribe and all that jazz. I am Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.